welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut of Control K, which will allow you to automatically insert a hyperlink into your Excel document. So with that, let's get started. Now, when you're in Excel, there are a numerous set of scenarios that you might want to use a hyperlink. You can either link to an external website or an external document, or you can link into your specific document that you're already in. Let's look at an example of each. So say that we wanted to create a, a entity or an entry where we would have Google, and then we could have the stock price. Well, here let's go to Google stock price. And then we could input our value. We could go into Google and we could say Google Finance. We'll go into Google Finance and then we'll look for Google Goog, Google stock price. We could copy this link. Well, first let's copy the value. So we could copy the value. Oops, input the value here. Let's make this in US dollars. And then we could actually link this value to an external website. So we're gonna copy this website and then we could insert a hyperlink by pressing Control K and then we'll go to an external file or web page. We'll input that and we'll hit OK. And then what should happen, what I'm hoping will happen, is when we click this, it would link to the Google page where we would get a live, a live instance of what the Google stock price was. Now, we'd have to write a macro or essentially a program if we wanted to import the Google stock price so that it was always live. But you could either link this item here or this item here so that you could move directly to see what the Google stock price was. Or you could always go to Google about page and you could say link to this web page. Here you could press control K and you would, oops, you would clearly have some issues. But once you got it, you could click here and that would bring you to the Google About page. So you can link to an external website, which is pretty cool. And the way to do that, to create a hyperlink is to press Control K. Alternately, you can link to a specific value. So maybe we would copy this into our spreadsheet. We're gonna do a, just paste the value by Control Alt V for paste special and then come in here. Technically this is I think like US pounds or I guess British pounds. So if we wanted to link this value, we could link it to a previous spreadsheet by hitting Control K, coming into a place in the document. Let's make sure that it's linked to the tables spreadsheet. So we move there and then once we click this, it would automatically jump to that page, which is kind of cool. You can see where the data originally comes from. Now, if you didn't know how or you weren't interested in using the keyboard shortcut Control K, there is another way to insert a hyperlink. Now we have to figure out what that is. So I think it's gonna be insert, and then you're gonna to go to hyperlink, and then you would again say pick the either the internal location, such as tables, or if you wanted to link to an external location, such as google.com, you could Again, come to hyperlink and www.google.com. Then once you click that, it should go, well, clearly we have to spell it correctly, www.google.com. Okay, and when we click this cell, it should bring us to Google. So there's a couple different things that you can do with hyperlinking. But in this video, we looked at the idea of using Control K in order to insert a hyperlink. We discussed about 
the idea of hyperlinking to an external website or somewhere internally to your actual document. And lastly, we look at the idea if you didn't remember control K, you could go to the insert page and hyperlink, or you could probably even just go alt N for insert and then I believe I for hyperlink and it would also launch this dialog box. With that, in our next video, we'll look at the idea of displaying the autocomplete list when you're using a formula or a function within Microsoft Excel. We'll do this by pressing the Alt key and the down arrow on your keyboard. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.